Welcome back to the Oakland Soccer Notebook. My name is Neil Rule, the broadcast voice of the Golden Grizzlies on ESPN+. And speaking of ESPN+, Plus, this guy had a pretty magical moment yesterday on ESPN+. Plus. Of course, he is Kieran Hayes of the Golden Grizzlies soccer team, the Horizon League champion. Excuse me, Kieran, Horizon League champion, uh, Golden Grizzlies soccer team. But you know, before we get into this team, Kieran, and everything that's you know, that's going on around it. I mean, take us through that moment, number four on the Sports Center top 10. And you're native of Australia. Uh, that, that that goal went worldwide, didn't it? Yeah, it was a nice thing to wake up to, I guess. I actually got woken up by a message from it. My phone was going off. So one of the boys from the team was putting it in there. And yeah, was definitely not expecting that. But uh, it was a great fight back from the boys. Like, it's very difficult to go one nil down. We could have turned it off wrapped it up and gone home one nil down but to come back 45 seconds or a minute later it's just yeah it's a great feeling waking up as a champion it's great yeah absolutely and, and what about that too I mean Noah Jensen man what you know what, what what can we say about that guy I mean we interview him all the time he's you know he's, he's pretty much the perfect human being yeah. um you know just just kind of give me your thoughts if anything's going on around this program it's Noah Jensen that's in the middle of it seems like right yeah, I think you summed it up well. Perfect human being on and off the field. Uh, look, his service, his ability to create, he can score goals, he can do everything as a leader. But we're going to miss him when he does go, but we're definitely making the most of him while he's still here. And uh, He's going to go places, that's for sure. And He deserves everything he's going to get. So, Kieran, you know, your game too, uh, as that defender, and I often talk about you uh, on the broadcast in that you're always right. You know, whatever whatever play you make, it just it always seems to be right. And I'm never, ever talking about a, a, a Kieran Hayes mistake. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're just you're like a steady you're like a steady thing. I mean, you will get in there. You get the occasional yellow card from time to time. You're not afraid to uh, stick your nose in there and, and things like that. But, but what about that? That mentality as as being a defender where, again, Kieran, that, that's the best I can say it is you're always right. Why are you always right? Uh, I don't think I'm always right. That's not the case at all from my opinion. Uh, I just like to review my footage and uh, like to keep things simple. Uh, I think our whole back line has been great this year, like people who have stepped up. Uh, we've got players all around the park who are like becoming leaders, uh, setting good examples on and off the field. Uh, I think that just our team morale this year has just gone through the roof and you can obviously tell when our resilience is tested from time to time. and we just keep bouncing back. But, uh, yeah, I think I just try to do my best day in, day out, and hopefully it benefits the team, and we go from there. Uh, that that was a great PR uh, line there, Kieran. We talk about our resilience gets tested from time to time. Now, now guys, what that means is, uh, you know, every time you guys dig yourself into a hole, you, you find a way out. What What is it about this team? I mean, you guys do have that – teams will talk about that, kind of that special feel to it. Uh, this team's special, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You, you can't teach resilience. It's either in you, you either got it or you don't. Uh, when we've had our backs up against the wall, like that game against Cleveland, we're down 3 0 with about 25 minutes to go, came back 4 3. Happened again against uh, Wright State, came back with, I think, four minutes to go to equalise and then win it in overtime. Uh, Milwaukee, we're down to 10 men for about 60 odd minutes or something like that, one in overtime. Uh, and then again on couple of days uh yesterday actually one nil down a minute later we score we go in overtime we win it's just something that you can't teach um and I think that's what champions are made of and I think that we actually deserve to be where we are and we deserve to have worked hard for a couple of years now some boys have worked for five years four years they've seen the goods and the uh the goods and the highs and the lows we had that this year we had a couple of good results and not so good results, but we learned from everything. And I think we can rightfully call ourselves champions. Be proud of that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when you rehash that, when you take us through all that, you do build up a bit uh, of resilience, I guess you would say, and that some of the situations that you guys have faced, namely that the Milwaukee one, Kieran, I still don't believe that one. I mean, I was there, I called it. Um, I mean, to be a man down and everything like you guys can't be broken, can you? No, not at the moment. It feels that way, but uh, we've definitely had our challenges. Uh, sometimes the results don't go our way. Some some plays don't go well. Like it just all depends on the last play. That's all that matters. Like as a ninety-minute game, 
if it can't be settled in that, we go to overtime. It only takes one play. We knew every time that we get into overtime or whether it is 90 minutes, we have to see it all out. Uh, I think that we learned that lesson early on in the year. Uh, we conceded a couple of really late goals, one in an exhibition match and then one against uh, Michigan. I think there was only 10 seconds left in overtime then. So, you know, those ones hurt, but then the ones that you do win means that much more. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kieran, before we, we let you go here, I mean, talk about it. You guys are the Horizon League champions. You'll be playing at the Oakland soccer field. Um, I mean, that's that's what you want, you know, the, the quality pitch that's there at the Oakland soccer field. You guys know what you're doing out there. Certainly you have proven it as of late. But, you know, with, with all this euphoria and all this excitement, Kieran, I mean, you know as well as anybody, I've been around this game a long time, winner-take-all situations, it's different because a bounce yeah. of the ball changes everything you know I, how the weather is can change everything I mean you guys do have to be ready for anything but I, I think what you guys have proved this year with through the resiliency that you've shown you are ready for anything you feel that way yeah I think we're definitely ready for it we've played in all conditions uh we know that we've got some big players that have made for this these types of occasions uh we're, we're confident that we can get it done but we need to take one game at a time one minute at a time just go from there, play our best football because we know that other people are going to be playing their best like they have the entire year against us. We know anyone can beat anyone on the given day, but we just need to hope that we're, we're there first. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're all excited. We're all ready to go too. I can't imagine uh, how excited and ready to go you guys are, but yeah. we're going to see. We're, we're, we'll see how these things shake out. We'll talk to you real soon, Kieran. I appreciate your time, man. Congratulations on uh, you know, being on SportsCenter and being a worldwide sensation, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.